Back behind the numbers of those infected with COVID-19 are real people. There are neighbors, our friends, our loved ones. Tonight, I want to introduce you to one man, Dr. Kenneth Baldwin. He's the pastor of Crossroads Baptist Church in Northern Virginia, and he tells me that he barely survived COVID-19. I'm telling you, this thing is no joke. It is serious. Dr. Kenny Baldwin is sharing the word and his reality with COVID-19. The virus that is sweeping throughout the world, leaving thousands sick and claiming thousands of lives nearly took his too. I've never been sick. I don't get the flu. I don't get, but honestly, I've never ever in my life felt like I don't know if I'm going to make it. His journey started when he was preaching in North Carolina in mid-March. He didn't feel well. I went to an urgent care there and did not have a fever. So they tested me negative for flu and strep. I preached again that Friday night and my family and I traveled back home Saturday. But he still couldn't shake his discomfort. He developed chills, aches, and a growing fever. I just knew it was different. <laughs> I knew it was different and it was something I wasn't used to. He was eventually diagnosed with pneumonia and released from the hospital. They told him to return if he didn't feel well. He went back to the hospital a few hours later. Then they did an x-ray again. And from what I've been told, the x-ray was significantly worse from just that morning. He went through a series of treatments. Nothing seemed to be working. I just laying on the bed, begging God, please, please just give me a chance. Please just get me through this. Then doctors eventually used hydroxychloroquine. It's prescribed to treat and prevent malaria, but is being used by some doctors to help treat COVID-19. It's the same drug touted by the president as a miracle drug, although researchers say more testing is needed. I have nothing but praises for that drug. Dr. Baldwin continues to recover at home, but he's clear. Please stay home, social distance yourself. Please take this virus seriously. WSA 9 contributor Dr. Linda Nabha says that if you suspect that you have the coronavirus, to contact your primary care physician before going to the hospital.